2.1a, prime factorization, prime and composite. Prime numbers are divisible by one and itself. One way that we can find primes is something called Eratosthenes' sieve. And basically it uses the idea that if we have this grid, which you can see here, that when we take multiples of numbers out, we're left with the prime numbers. So if I took all the multiples of two, that would be all of these, all of these, all of these, all of these, and all of these. And then we took multiples of three, whoops, let me, I don't want to be two to be gone. Then if we took our multiples of three, that would be here on this diagonal, and here, and let's see, and right there, and right here, and I think that there is one more row of this. Let's see my, let me get my line going in the right place here. There we go. And do we have some others? There we go. And then we took our multiples of five. That would be everything that ends in a five. And everything that ends in 10, we already have that crossed off. And then we started looking for multiples of seven. We don't get any neat patterns coming out of here, but we know that 49 is divisible by seven. And I'm just kind of looking here to see other numbers that are divisible by seven. 77, and 91 here, okay. And what we should have left here, let's see, is our prime numbers. You wanna get pretty comfortable with what your prime numbers are so that you can use them to break numbers down. Composite numbers, on the other hand, are divisible by, we'll call them numbers, or in other words, factors. They're basically anything that is not a prime. Although you should be aware that one is neither prime nor composite. So when you look at our two examples here, in our first number, we're looking to see if this is prime or composite. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our, um, to see if we can divide it by anything. So we'd look at 89, well, not divisible by two, because it's not an even number. We probably all should know that. And let's see, if I did three, so we're looking to go, if, if three will go into 89, three will go into eight, two times. Um, three will not go into 29 evenly, so it's not divisible by three. And if it's not divisible by two, it won't be divisible by four. Um, not divisible by five because it doesn't end in a five or a zero. Let's try seven. Notice I'm only using prime numbers here. Seven, well, we already, if we know our multiplication facts, we know seven doesn't go in there. And our next prime number would be 11. Well, it doesn't, 11 is not gonna go in there. And so what that means is this one is a prime number. Let's look at 147. First number I'm looking at is would be a two. Well, it doesn't end in a 
even number, so I know it's not divisible by 2. So the next one I'm going to try is a 3. So we try 3 into 147. 3 goes into 14, 4 times. 2 left over, bring down to my 7. 3 goes into 27, 9 times. The 0 remainder. Since we have 3 and 49, that means that this is a composite number.